So here we are in the centre of Chipping Norton, next to the closest disabled parking bay to the theatre. We thought we'd show you the route down from the parking bay down to the theatre so that you can have a sense of the journey that you'll make. So the disabled uh, space is next to Jaffe and Neil, a bookshop very close to the theatre, and we'll be making our journey down the road that is parallel to Market Street. There's a bit of a slope. So we're now approaching the end of the road and are ready to rejoin Market Street. Bear in mind that some traffic may be coming down here. You'll be on a little bit of a slope and that traffic may also be coming along Market Street from the left. But carry on along this side of the road and you shouldn't have any trouble. We're going to pause here briefly to just take in the theatre's daytime box office. If you're coming to collect tickets, this will be open and you can go up and collect your tickets. There's a couple of things to note. Firstly, that there's a bit of an adverse camber on the road and unfortunately there isn't a dropped curb. If you have a problem with that, just give the box office a call and one of them will pop out and let you in. But we're going to press on now down towards the theatre. So we recommend staying on the road. It's a relatively quiet street, Spring Street, and also there isn't, unfortunately, a dropped curb on that side. Here is the closest dropped curb to the theatre. Come on up through here. Bear in mind the slight incline on the pavement. If there's a show on, you'll see that there are doors open and one of the box office team waiting there. But if you need step-free access to the theatre, then we recommend pressing on down to the bar door. Where someone should be here to greet you. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the theatre. Thanks, Charlie. So here we are inside the theatre's bar. We're going to go through to the box office now to collect our tickets. There's a short little ramp, but nothing too major. And here we are in the box office. Hello. Hello. I'd like to collect my tickets, please. No problem. May I take your name, please? It's Arnold. And the first line for your address? Number two, Spring Street. There we go. Those are your tickets. Thanks very much. Thanks. You can also get your ticket in digital form. It will be emailed to you before the show and will look like that. Just show it at the door. We're going to go get a drink now. Just remember the slight slope here. And here we are. I'm going to come up to our accessible drop counter where one of the team will be waiting for me. Free water is available at all of our shows and free instant tea and coffee is available at our relaxed performances. But today, I'm just going to have a water, please, Glenn. Sure. There we go. Thanks very much. Let's go and have a look at our toilets now. Follow me. There's a slight slope here on your way in. And on your left, we have the gents. Just here. And opposite. We have the ladies. And then just at the end of the corridor is our accessible toilet. There is a movable handlebar here that you can lift up if you're using a larger wheelchair. And if you are using a larger wheelchair, like a motorised one, we also have an accessible route to get you from the front left of the auditorium into the accessible loo. It's now time to take your seats in the auditorium, as the show is shortly about to start. So, we've got our tickets, we've been to the loo, and we've got our drinks. It's time for the show. Let's head back into the bar, bearing in mind this slight slope. And through we come. It's worth bearing in mind that this space is likely to be a little bit busier than it is now. Some of our shows can get a little hectic, but we'll be on hand to support you. Coming through into the box office, we've got that little slope again, and it's time to have our tickets checked. My ticket says to come to door number one, which is signposted there. And here's Charlie on hand to scan my tickets. You don't mind if I scan your tickets, do you? Not at all, Charlie. Thank you. 
and you should be good to go. Have fun and enjoy the show. Thanks, Charlie. In we come. So here we are in the auditorium. Uh, my ticket says to come to seat H7, and that's clearly signed just down here, and then I count the seats along. If you're a wheelchair user and in one of our wheelchair seats, you'll either be positioned at the ends of row H or row D. If we have more than four wheelchair users in our uh, performance, we will take out the front two rows and position you there. But for this show, we're going to be in H7. So here we are. Time to tell you a bit more about what a relaxed performance involves. A relaxed performance is open to everyone, but we find that people who have additional needs or may come from a care home or identify as neurodivergent might find it particularly helpful. Basically, it's a more chilled out environment. And there are some things that we do to make it accessible. First thing is that the house lights will remain on throughout the entire show. The doors will remain open too, so that you can come and go as you please. We'll also make some changes to the performance to take out anything that might be overbearing, such as strobe lighting or loud noises. You're also allowed to make as much noise as you like. Nothing will, will surprise us. So with all that in mind, it's time to enjoy the show. So here we are in the auditorium and we've been enjoying the show. But because it's a relaxed performance, we can leave whenever we want to because the doors remain open throughout. Also, if you're a wheelchair user using a larger motorized wheelchair, you're also able to get to our accessible toilet through those doors at the front left of the auditorium. But we're going to head to the breakout space, which is available for anyone who needs it throughout the show. Here we are in the box office, down the gentle slope into the bar area. The breakout space is located two floors up, just outside of the auditorium. Follow me. For audience members who are sitting in the balcony, they can get to the breakout space through these doors. They'll be open throughout the show too. One more floor to go. And here we are at the entrance to the breakout space. Let's take a look. So here we are. The breakout space is open throughout the show and is available to anyone who wants to use it. We've got free water available, comfortable seating, and low lighting to keep it nice and relaxed. You can go back into your seats at any point throughout the show. The doors will remain open and you're allowed to do so. And that's the end of the show. You can stay in your seat for as long as you need to, but when you're ready, it's time to head out. One of the ushers will be ready at the door to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed your show. I did, thanks, Charlie. And then down the gentle slope into the bar area. And lastly, through the accessible door on your left. And that's the end of the show. We hope to welcome you along to one of our relaxed performances really soon. If you need any more information, it's all available on our website, or you can speak to one of the Take Part team. We can't wait to welcome you along to one of our relaxed performances. See ya.